Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what I got in my April's BoxyCharm. For those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a 25 a month now. It was 21, but now I think it's 25. I'm not sure. I don't really know, but um, what BoxyCharm is, is you get five full-size products ranging from eyeshadows to skincare to tools to pretty much anything. I've honestly, I have BoxyCharm and BoxyLux and BoxyLux is just every three months and you get your regular five items plus like, I think four, four more. I'm not sure. But anyway, so this month's theme is Sweet Treats. This is the card. I think it's pretty cute this month. Ironically, I thought this should have been one for February because candy, but whatever. It's still cute. This is a card. They give you all the um, products and then the variant. I'm not sure if there was a variant this month because usually it's right in the corner. But all that says is a bunch of numbers and a letter and a little heart. Anyway, so I'm going to show you this first. This is the Natasha. Nope, this isn't the Natasha Denona palette. This is the Manicadar Beauty Pluck It Two-Piece Tweezer Set. It says it's time to say pluck it to bad brows. This tweezer set contains one slanted tweezer for precise plucking and one pointed tweezer to isolate a single hair in a large area. A long handle provides a more controlled tweeze. Um, this retails for $18. I am showing this first because I am re-gifting this to my sister. Uh, I don't pluck anything. I don't mess with my brows. I don't, I've honestly never, I got my brows done once a long time ago and I really haven't, they're not out of control. I don't worry about it, but she plucks her eyebrows and things. So these will be in good use for her. So that is the first product. The second product I'm going to show you is this Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Mask. Um, I always love a good mask. It says revitalize, brighten, and even your complexion in minutes with a powerful infusion of vitamin C to protect skin and prevent free radical damage while boosting collagen production. This clay-based mask draws out impurities, allowing argan and avocado oils to nourish and revitalize your skin. This retails for $36. Another reason why I'm doing this today and not tomorrow is because I do want to try this tonight and I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I'm not going to pump it out of my hand because I don't honestly want to wipe it off my skin, but this is what it looks like. It says, apply mask after cleansing and toning your skin, avoiding your eye area, leave mask on for 10 to 15 minutes, allowing the clay to soak up impurities, gently, gently rinse with lukewarm water. I promised myself I wasn't going to trip over my words, but here I go. Remove any final traces of masks with your toner. Use two to three times per week. Apply moisturizer afterwards. It's made in the USA. It's cruelty-free, paraben-free, and dye-free. Doesn't really smell like anything. I did start pumping it yesterday and I was gonna put it on the back of my hand, but then I thought, no, it is like, it's honestly like this color, but like duller, not as shiny. So that is that. We're just gonna chuck that box down there. Um, the next product I'm going to show you is this Kui, Kui Bean? Kui Bean? Uh, Studio Dragon Lash Mascara. I always like new mascaras as well because my lashes are short and stumpy. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. It says, instantly create the look of lash extensions with Dragon Lash Mascara. This lash doubling volumizing mascara lengthens and separates, giving you flirty, intensely black lashes. Dragon Lash Mascara is a semi-permanent high-gloss black tubing mascara. Unlike conventional wax-based mascaras, tubing mascaras contain polymers that wrap around the lashes, creating tubes so they don't smudge or flake, plus they're easy to remove, making you less likely to experience lash fallout during removal. Hooray for healthy lashes. This retails for $18. This is what the one looks like. It's very skinny. I always smell it. I don't know why. They kind of always honestly smell the same. Um, right now, I'm using this Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara. I really like it, but it does transfer a lot. Like, I put my mascara on after I put my eyeshadow on, which is probably a silly move, but 
even after I let it dry in like I'll go about like 30 minutes and then I'll go look in the mirror again and I'll have mascara up here I'm not sure if it's something that I'm doing or not doing but I don't know it's kind of annoying so um that retailed for $18 if I did not say that already um this is the Natasha Denona Ayana eyeshadow palette forgive me if I pronounce that wrong it says a special edition palette created out exclusively exclusively for Boxy Charm featuring five ultra pigmented neutral cool tone shades and a range of muted browns with a touch of sparkling metal green inspired by the Japanese meaning of Aya meaning color and design compliant with Na uh, meaning elegant grace and delicate it's the perfect everyday palette for creating sophisticated classy looks as well as evening looks with a super glam finish for your lady with natasha's signature blendable user-friendly formulas in the highest quality pure color pigments dazzling chromas dazzling chroma crystals and luminous pearls settle for every skin tone cruelty free and allergen free this retails for 48 dollars. i do appreciate natasha denona her palettes are always so nice i do have one um right here i got this one a few months back and i really do like it a lot it's the same layout as this one magnetic it is really pigmented um let me grab some makeup wipes so i can swatch this for you guys uh $48 it retails for I'm pretty sure I just said that so I'm just repeating myself there's only five colors so I'm only gonna have to use my hand once which is nice so I'm not having to sorry my sister just texted me and I can't multitask I'm not having to wipe my fingers off and keep going back into the eyeshadows okay now someone's I think flying a drone no that's not flying a drone I don't know what they're doing outside my window so I apologize if you guys can hear that all 28 of you that is I was a little upset when I found out that I lost two followers but hey I mean I'm not really I can't say I'm not I can't say I'm not doing this for followers because I mean it's always nice to have people to watch you those are the colors uh the shade names are Harlow Lash Line satin skin crease and glam green this is the glam green you can kind of see the green but honestly when i looked at it in the pan i didn't really see the green at all why did i throw that away i need to wipe my hand off um so that is the second to last product the last product i'm actually pretty impressed with because i've never had um a primer it is a primer but i've never had a primer that came in like a tub I've always had primers that come out of squeezy tubes, but this is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. And what's cool about this is when you put it on your skin, and actually when you just touch the product to begin with, it does feel cold. I had a, um, a Becca setting powder that did the same thing, and honestly, I don't know why it lost its coolness. It still works as a setting powder, but for the first few months, it did go on cool, which was nice, uh, especially in the summertime. So this is locking your looks lock your looks in place and keep them cool with icy sherbet primer this gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps skin for makeup the formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth this retails for 32 dollars um i didn't really believe uh any of it this kind of reminds me of the elf putty primer but more goopier I guess I don't know but it smells good and it looks pretty but when I put it on the back of my hand last night this is what it looks like literally not going nowhere it's beautiful um when I put it on the back of my hand last night I don't know if my hand's kind of shiny so let's watch let's see if it the camera will pick this up just put a little on the back of my hand right there where the shiny part is and you can kind of see that it worked i think it's just my light bouncing off my skin because as i'm looking at it now where it was shiny it's not anymore so that's awesome i do look forward to using this like i said i've never had a primer that's been in a tub instead of a 
squeezy battle. I have no idea where I'm going to put this because all my primers sit up here. You can't really see, but they all sit up here. So I'm going to find a place to put that. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap up this video because uh, Emma and the kids, the kids, like I have more than two, Emma and Blake, <coughs> excuse me, um, have been selling lemonade for the past three days. And today is going to be the last like warm enough day to do it for a good excuse me, week, and we are getting a better table and a better sign today, so they're hopeful that they'll make a little bit more money today. They did great yesterday. Um, A college kid and his girlfriend, I'm assuming, or just his friend, didn't have to be his girlfriend, but whatever, uh, they came and bought for her from her and then took a picture of them, and he put it on his social media with my permission, of course, and... um. He said he was getting the word out. We had friends coming by. They were putting the word out. And we just had a lot of people yesterday. And they had a lot of fun doing it. We sat out there for, I think, five, almost six hours. It wasn't that hot. Honestly, it was kind of cold when the sun wasn't shining. But today is supposed to get up to 80. So hopefully we'll have a little bit. I can't really see more luck because yesterday was great. And they had a great time. And they saw a lot of people. And we were taking our measures, you know, mask, gloves, hand sanitizer, things like that being careful so um yeah i hope you guys enjoy your weekend and i will see you when my april ipsy comes in bye